Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. In today's video, this makeup tutorial was actually requested by one of my subscribers and it was a it was the same look. It is the same look that's in my drugstore eyeliner video which I posted last week for you guys. I did use a different camera because my camera was overheating and it was just acting up and just driving me crazy. So I wanted to just switch cameras just to get a video up for you guys and I really wanted to film that. So I did feel like it was a little hard to see my makeup but this is a better look as to what it looks like and this look was just something I kind of throw together when I'm in a rush. I kind of want to look a little put together but I don't want to just put bronzer on. I just want a little bit more drama without it being too overboard because I do wear this daytime as well and for this look I went in with my modern renaissance palette this is hands down still one of my favorite palettes still one of my go-to's when I'm not really sure exactly what to do with my eyes and as you can see I've hit pan on multiple colors so if you guys want to see how I got this look and what products I use please keep on watching and as always all product details will be listed down below for you guys so yeah I think that's about it so for today's really quick look, I'm going in with my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I haven't used this palette in a really long time. So usually when I'm not sure exactly what I want to do, this is just one of those go-to palettes for me. So I'm just going to mix together these two shades, which is raw sien and burnt orange. And I'm going to really work this into my crease area. And with this, I'm bringing this fairly high and just pretty much all up in there with my eyebrows. And I just want it to be really nice and smooth and I'm not being too neat with this either. So it's going to look like that. Now that it's on there, I'm still using the same Vasanti brush. I'm pretty much only using three brushes for this entire eye look. It's going to be really quick, easy. So now I'm going to mix together this color, this orange right here, and this red ochre right here. And I'm taking a little more orange than red ochre, and I'm really going to work this in as well. I'm just going to go in with a very, with a little bit more orange. So then I still, I used the same brush again and I went in with a little bit of Venetian red. And I'm just going to bring this just a little lower in the crease area. But again, just roughly blending this on just like that so now working on the lower lash line I'm going to go in with the same two transition shades and the brush that I am using is my Sigma blending E25 brush and I'm just going to really work this on the lower lash and I'm bringing this color pretty far down I'm going to go in with the orange shade only and I'm also going to bring this down. I'm putting most of the product on the outer portion and then bringing it in ever so slightly in the inner portion of the lower lash line. And I'm going to mix together the red ochre and the Venetian red. I'm going to do the same I'm going to apply the same way I apply that orange. And I'm just bringing it in so it's connecting on the top. And that's what it should look like. So now I'm going to go in with this ColourPop eyeshadow. This is in the shade Amaze and this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. And I'm just going to apply this on my lid area and I'm just going to go in with my finger. I'm going to be pretty generous. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can really see. There you go. And I'm really focusing 
this color in the center of the lid. So that's what it should look like. So I'm going to go in with a really small brush and really pack on this eyeshadow, the same one that I was using, Amaze. And usually these eyeshadows work a lot better using your fingers, but I really want to pop this into my inner tear duct. And I do have to layer this because like I said, it shows up a lot better, in my opinion, with a brush. And this is just one of those double-sided brushes that come in one of the Anastasia palettes. And that's what that should look like. And then any remaining left over, I'm just going to slowly drag into the inner portion on the lower lash line. And that is pretty much it for the eyes. Now I'm just going to go in with some eyeliner and lashes and then we can work on the rest of the face. So I completed the rest of my eyes off camera. I used my Salon Perfects in 614 lashes, my Wet n Wild liquid liner on the top, and Max Teddy Eye Call for the waterline. Now I'm going to finish up with the face. I already have a little bit of bronzer on, but I'm just going to add a little bit more. I used my Max Skin Finish in Medium Deep, and I've really been liking this fluffy fan brush. And I'm just going to add a little bit more color to my face. For my blush, I'm going to use my Tarte's Party. I'm not saying that right at all. I'm just going to apply a very small amount on the apples of my cheek. For my highlighter, I'm using the Essence Pure Nude Sunlighter. It's called Be My Sunlight. And I'm just using my Morphe Y14 brush. Finally, I'm going to use my Morphe lip liner in Sweet Tea and MAC lip liner in Honey Love. So this is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I didn't have any intentions of filming it, but this was requested and this is the same look that was in my drugstore eyeliner video. I was using a different camera, so I don't feel like the makeup was, you were able to really see it, but I did get a few requests to filming it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.